We're continuing to follow breaking news out of Hillsborough County. Right now, a man is trapped in a sinkhole that opened up right underneath his home. You can't see the hole uh, from the front. We're told it swallowed up several rooms inside that home. But what you can see from Eagle 8 is the backyard of that home. And now that it's getting light, you can see a little more in that backyard. Engineers at the scene are telling us that the hole is approximately 50 feet in each direction and possibly 50 feet deep. The Hillsborough County Fire Marshal says it's unsafe for rescue workers to go in and find that trap man right now. We'll, of course, continue to follow this breaking story this morning, and you can look for updates on WFLA.com. The CEO of online deals pioneer Groupon has been fired. Groupon founder Andrew Mason was candid about getting the ax in a memo to his staff saying employees, quote, deserve the outside world to give you a second chance, and I'm getting in the way of that, end quote. Groupon has been struggling amid worries that people are getting tired of the deals that the company built its business on. The Live Strong Foundation is chartering a, charting, I should say, a new path and creating a new logo in the wake of founder Lance Armstrong's troubled departure. He stepped down as the chairman after admitting to using performance-enhancing drugs during his cycling career. Cancer Foundation leaders say they are optimistic, though, about the future. This is the first full day of Pope Emeritus Benedict's retirement. Yesterday, the doors to Pope, the Pope's summer residence closed, the flag was lowered, and the Swiss guards withdrew. The Vatican police took over responsibility for Benedict's protection. Cardinals from around the world are in Vatican City today, planning a closed conclave to elect Benedict's successor. That will start Monday. Here's something you don't see every day. Why in the world is former NBA star Dennis Rodman <laughs> meeting with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un? Well, it's because Rodman and three members of the Harlem Globetrotters are there to play basketball and shoot a documentary for HBO. Kim Jong-un is reportedly a huge NBA fan. Steven Spielberg will preside over the jury of this year's Cannes Film Festival. Spielberg, whose latest film, Lincoln, won two Oscars on Sunday, will head the jury that selects the festival's winner. The 12-day festival starts in May and serves uh, as a major showcase for new films from around the world. Good news this morning. And I know you're all worried about this. The Milwaukee Brewers missing Italian sausage is safe. Someone stole Guido 13 days ago at a fundraiser. He's the one seen here wearing the uh, chef's hat. Yeah, that's it. In the bow tie, fancy bow tie. Well, we learned that two guys just walked into a Milwaukee bar carrying Guido. They told the bartender, and this is probably my favorite part of the story, hey, you didn't see anything. <laughs> and then they just left. And I'm and assuming the person wearing the costume wasn't inside it because that would be kidnapping. That would be a whole <laughs> different story. It's probably like, uh, can you take me back now? All right, it's 648. Let's get a check out the roadways. Now that Guido's safe, we can all rest yes, easy. Yes, thank goodness. All right, folks, uh, we've got a collision here on the Collier Parkway right at Livingston. It is not tying up any lanes, so that's some good news. Meanwhile, over in St. Pete, we've got an ongoing problem. And I just got word that the southbound lanes have been reopened here at 4th Street right at 78th Street North, but the northbound lanes are still blocked. What's happened here is there's some downed power lines and also some low hanging wires that were tying up lanes. So it wasn't safe to go through, so their crews are still out there. Now you can travel southbound, but northbound, I'm going to suggest 9th Street as an alternate until they can wrap that up. Also, some lights aren't working. Whenever that happens, just treat it as a four way stop. A little bit to the north here, over in the Safety Harbor area, we've got a collision sunset point at McMullen Booth. This accident has injuries involved. Involved, and this intersection can get very busy throughout the area, so keep this in mind, allow for a little extra time. Again, Sunset Point at McMullen Booth in the Safety Harbor area. Uh, it's starting to get a little bit busier here on 275. We're still looking pretty good overall, but uh, traffic is starting to get busier right around Hillsborough Avenue. Remember, we've got some events taking place. If you are out and about today, the Yankees are going to be taking on the Phillies at 1 o'clock, and that's at Steinbrenner Field. And then tonight, Bon Jovi, for those of you who like to tease your hair, and do this. That's going to take place at the Forum at 7.30. Meanwhile, the Strawberry Festival is underway, so you may see a little bit of congestion later on today and this weekend all around I-4, so you want to keep this in mind. That's a look at the roadways. Now let's check in with Lee Spann and get the weather forecast. And if you are going out to the Strawberry Festival, you're going to need to bundle up this weekend. It's going to be very chilly, and to keep up with those temperatures, download our free Weather Max app. It's for iPhone and Android users, and not only do you get to look at how cold it is currently, but you'll also get an hour-by-hour -hour forecast. And today, this is what your hour-by-hour -hour forecast looks like. 53 degrees at 7 a.m., 
57 at 9, and I think the clouds will get a little bit more prevalent through the day, which means our temperatures are not going to warm up much. 59 degrees at 11, 61 at 1, only 63 degrees at 3 p.m. Now, we checked in with Betty in Plant City. She's at a chilly 46 degrees where that, plant, where that uh, strawberry festival is just about to kick off again. We're at 44 in Homosassa, a chilly 48 in Auburndale, 54 in Arcadia, 59 degrees in Sarasota, and 53 degrees in Tampa. Added to the lower temperatures, a breeze from the north, making it feel even colder. North northeast winds at 12 miles per hour in Clearwater, 9 miles per hour in Tampa, 12 miles per hour in Winter Haven. And these wind speeds are actually going to continue to increase. Now notice on the eastern half of the country, we're watching a lot of cloud cover, not a lot of precipitation. This general counterclockwise spin, bringing some snowfall to southern Illinois, Indiana, and western Kentucky. And then closer to home, we have all these clouds streaming in off the Gulf of Mexico. I wanted to show you what it looks like out there. This is from the plantation on Crystal River up in Citrus County. And yes, just this kind of layer of high, thin clouds. And we're going to see this through most of the day, which is one of the reasons why it's not going to be as warm as yesterday. Notice we're starting here at 49 degrees in the Crystal River area. Series of cold fronts just continue to push on through. So we're going to see more clouds today and a cool day. Then another cold front comes through, adding in a small rain chance for Saturday. Now that's the good thing if you're going out to any of these events. You can brace yourself against the cold. The rain chance is just very slight at 20%. One cold front, then another one. And our coldest day is going to come on Sunday. Get prepared. Bring out your winter clothes because I think that after Sunday and Monday morning, You'll be able to put those away for months. North to northwest winds, if you're out on the water today, breezy at 15 knots. Highs today, about 10 degrees below average in some cases. 63 in Tampa, 67 in Winter Haven. A high of only 61 in Pinellas Park, 65 in Plant City with the Strawberry Festival, of course. Then cool tonight, generally dropping down into the mid-40s with some clouds around. Tomorrow, we do add in that 20% rain chance, 62 for Saturday. But look at Sunday, 56 degrees. I think we'll actually clear the skies out despite that. Again, a cool, cool day. And then Monday starts cold, and then we warm back up. And then that's it. Yeah, no, then right. you won't see it Thank again. You. Right. We All appreciate right. it. It's 652. A man is trapped in a sinkhole in Hillsborough County. It's breaking news. We're continuing to follow this morning. We will have an update in two minutes. It's 652. This is News Channel 8 today.